You know what's amazing about stars? From plain sight, it's impossible to tell if a star is alive or not, because it's so far away and it shines so brightly that its light is still reaching us millions of years after it dies. The person who had the biggest impact on my life is someone who I never had the chance to meet. He was my cousin, Bert Jones, and he died the year I was born. His jersey number in football was the number four, and his life and what he stood for is the reason why that number is so important to me. Growing up, I always heard stories about my cousin from my family. From what I heard, he seemed like the guy who had everything going for him. He was good looking, he was funny, everyone in his high school loved him. He was even getting recruited by the University of Georgia in his junior year of high school. But what stuck out to me most was how generous he was to everyone. I first realized this when my aunt told me a story about his friend Robert. Robert wasn't the most popular guy in his school. A lot of people made fun of him and put him down, but Bert always took up for him. One day, he convinced Robert to join the football team. And after that, people stopped making fun of him because they respected Bert so much. And one day after football practice, Bert was driving home and he saw Robert walking down the dirt road so he pulled over and asked him what was going on and Robert was like oh I'm just walking home I don't have a car so I just walk home after practice so Bert just said oh well get in I'll give you a ride home to which Robert replied no it's right you're on the other side of town as me I don't want to make you drive that far out of the way and Bert was just like Dude, I'm not going to make you walk home. Just, just get it. So he drove him home. At the end of that season, um, that spring, in 1992, Bert died in a car accident at the age of 17. But I'll never forget the last story my aunt told me about him. It was at his wake. There were 2,000 people there. The line went all the way down the street and curved onto another street. And after about four hours went by, uh, the line started dying down. Uh, it seemed like almost everyone had left. And then something really strange happened. My aunt was inside, and this guy walked in who just looked really out of place. His pants were dirty, his hair was messed up, and he was just standing there looking at Bert, crying his eyes out. And the whole time, my aunt was trying to figure out who this guy was, and she had no idea. And finally, he left after about 30 minutes. And a little bit later, someone went up to my aunt and told her that the guy was Robert. And in that moment, she cried because she realized why he was so dirty. It was because he had walked from his house on the other side of town just to see her one last time. That's what I live for. When someone is so impacted by what you've done for them that they're willing to do anything to see you one last time. I think in the end, that's what we all live for. But so often, we sacrifice joy for pleasure. We sacrifice aliveness for comfort and our dreams for security.